this is kind of our first coldest of the of the year so far. So we need to be yeah. thinking about how to prepare Whew. pets, livestock, you know, farmers and ranchers. We're talking to Marty Logan today. Uh, a lot of calving going on right now. You mm. are right. So this is when cows are having their calves, yeah. and they can die when it gets this cold. What's well, coming up? So you yeah. know, farmers and ranchers will be thinking about that for the end of next week. It's weird they don't have their their babies in the spring like a lot of other animals. They have them in the dead of winter. Yeah, but the, the owners have to drive out in their gators yeah. and make sure that they gather yeah. them. And yeah, they they bring them in. And the last time we had the Siberian air come in, we remember the story about the calf in the jacuzzi. You remember yeah. that? In people's yeah. bedrooms and yeah. in the living room. I know. Yeah. It's crazy. So there it is. So prepare for Siberia. <laughs> Just prepare for the cold that's coming for the end of next week. And whatever that means to you. If you're ready to go for cold, no problem. But uh, if you're thinking, you know, it's, it's been a year. We haven't had anything crazy, right? We've had some cold days, yeah. But winterize your vehicle, winterize your home. Uh, you know, the gloves, the masks, whatever. You know, get it all out here. If backup travel plan. Uh, coming up next week, might have a little snow here and there. Nothing too crazy. Prepare, though. The livestock and the pets, and don't forget to download uh, the News 9 app and the News 9 weather app, right? Keep you up to date on what's going on with that. So just prepare. Here in Oklahoma City, right now, we are clear and we are chilly, 43 degrees, really, compared to next week. This is nice. A northwest wind now at 13. Winds have really dropped on off, and they'll continue to drop off this evening with a light west and northwest breeze all evening long wind chills running in the mid 30s so we have a 40 in el reno 41 in shawnee 44 in purcell sun's dropping temperatures are dropping along with the sun we have some upper 40s in the south now look at all the 30s across the north and the wind 10 to 20 miles per hour across the north much lighter winds in the south and uh, just a light northwest breeze here so wind chills again 30s so again not crazy. Now, end of next week, yeah, that'll be crazy. All right, so the reason for the cold, part of the reason, upper storm, blizzard still ongoing to our north. We're on the west side, the northwest side, bringing in cold air at the surface and also with the jet stream level. And this thing's a slow mover. It's going to take another day or two to finally push a little farther east. But really, it's, it's all about what's going on up north. And it's cold across Canada, but let's go across the pole into Russia or Siberia and you get to 47 below, not even gonna try to pronounce it, but uh, 40 to 50 below zero right now. Wind chills are running 60 to 70 below zero. So that cold air is gonna be coming up and over the North Pole, down through Canada, down into the US. Before that gets here, storm system rolls out Sunday night, Monday morning, a little bit of some light rain, maybe a little bit of a winter mix, maybe some snow with that, nothing crazy right now. We're watching it though. And then we start to turn colder as we get into your Tuesday, colder Wednesday is we're going to get an initial surge of cold air and then the bottom falls out for next Thursday, Friday and Saturday. And that'll be the Siberian air coming in. All right, lows tonight, low to mid 20s, 29 in Ardmore, 24 in Ponca City. Enough of a breeze overnight tonight that wind chills in the morning will be in the teens. It'll be cold tomorrow, sunny like today. Low 40s, okay, some upper 30s in the panhandle tomorrow. And tomorrow's going to be windy, gusts up 30 to 40 miles per hour in the northwest. High Saturday, a little warmer, still chilly, mid 40s, less wind, lots of sunshine, increasing clouds Sunday, highs near 50 on Sunday and windy. And then Sunday night, Monday morning, some light rain spreads across the state. Might see a little rain mixed with snow in the northeastern Oklahoma. Might be cold enough to see all snow there, nine day forecast. All right, so let's break it down here for you. 43 tomorrow, 46 Saturday, 50 Sunday, 60% chance for a little light rain, maybe a few flakes. Sunday night, Monday morning, Monday high 47, Tuesday 39, Wednesday 32. Look at Thursday. Yep, there you go. There's your Siberian air, 14 for the afternoon temperature, 40% chance for light snow and possibly more light snow for Friday night into Saturday. Saturday, of course, Christmas Eve might have a little snow around and for Christmas Day, dry with highs near 30 degrees. We're hoping for 30.